what is going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is lewis and on today's video we're going to discuss a superpower or a cheat code that if you guys haven't tried yet you're going to want to try it make sure to hit that like button please consider subscribing something like 60 percent of you guys are not subscribed i'm tired of saying it every video please hit that subscribe button if you like the jersey i'm wearing in this video or in any of my videos coolbake.com promo code napolis10 that gets you 10 percent off your entire order and down below in the description there's gonna be a link where you can order the road dna coil the ball spinners everything you guys already know it's a great way to help support the channel check the description a lot of good stuff in there also if you go to howtobowl.com promo code lewis that gets you 30 percent off your your annual membership all right guys so in the title i say that uh sanding your pearls is a cheat code and we know that the road is not a pearl it's a hybrid but effectively it's the same thing if you take these bowling balls that are designed to be longer a little bit quicker down lane that are come shiny out the box and you knock that shine off it ends up being a really good thing a lot of times if you watch a lot of the pros throw these shiny balls they're not shiny there's no polish on them so they hit it with surface and that's for a reason we're going to go over that today the big reason you want to do that is because you net like 90 percent of the time you don't need a ball to go 50 feet and scream left it may look pretty but it's not what you need to score so what i like to do is after i shoot all my reviews um, i shoot all my reviews with the out of box finish but once i get done with all of that i usually knock the shine off these shiny balls because they end up rolling way way better and so especially like with this the road it's okay with polish it's just a little bit too clean through the front a little bit too responsive to the friction creates a whole lot of over under and now with the uh, with the sanded finish you're going to notice that it brings that break point a little bit closer to me it's way rounder it doesn't want to boom off the spot and then same thing with this dna coil i think that the coil is a really really good ball but on the fresh with the polish it ends up being a little bit too quick a little bit too responsive where i bowl and then once the lanes start to break down and I try to get in with it, it's a little bit too strong of a ball. It makes it almost unusable. But on the fresh, with a little bit of surface, not a lot, all I did was knock the shine off of it and hit it with a 3000 pad. You're gonna notice that it's way more predictable, way more easy to repeat. You're not gonna see your ball go 60 or 50 feet, scream left, you know, blower nine pin and, and, and all these crazy splits. You're gonna notice that everything's gonna be rounder, more predictable, and rounder and predictable, typically on these high friction house shots, is what's gonna yield the higher scores. So let me know down below in the comments, are you guys sanding, changing the surfaces of your bowling ball, or you stick to what the manufacturer put on the ball? And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, a lot of that is just marketing. Shiny balls look pretty on the wall, pretty balls sell. It's just the truth. And uh, just because it comes polished out of the box doesn't mean that you're married to it. So I highly encourage you guys that if you don't like a ball out the box, before you sell it or before you plug and re-drill it, just consider changing the surface, changing it up to you know something that maybe will end up going from a ball that you don't really love to a ball that you're going to love. And that happens to me all the time. Sometimes out of the box, I don't like a ball, change the surface, now I love it. It happens all the time in this game. So we'll see you here on lane one at Samstown. All right, first shot of the video here showing you guys why sanding your shiny bowling balls is a cheat code. We're gonna start in the DNA coil here. That's why right there. Bang! Kick out that 10 pin like a freaking boss. Uh, no, uh, what I really liked about that is that it read where it needed to read and it didn't want to jump off the friction even though I missed it into that friction. And best believe there's a huge hook spot to the right here at Samsung. So I'll throw one more with that one, then we'll get into the road. Yeah, if you guys have never done this, cheat code unlocked. Same spot here with the coil. We'll repeat another really good shot, then we'll get into the road. Guys, you can still tell that it's a pearl. It still wants to get down lane. It still wants to produce shape. All, just a little bit less shape. It's a little bit less clean through the fronts. It makes it so much more repeatable. That is really good ball motion. And all you have to do is just knock the shine off the cover of the ball. And right, we're gonna move a little bit right off the coil here with the road. First shot here with it. Let's make it a 
make a good one. Miss right. You should get it though. Yeah, when you miss right with these sanded shiny balls, this is a, I keep saying shiny because it's not a pearl, it is a hybrid. But man, it just does the right thing. And I'm telling you guys, if you struggle with your balls, big fouring a lot or just missing the spot altogether, just take a 2000 pad right over the polish. That's what I did with both of these. All right, so let's throw a little bit better of a shot, not leak it to the right, but we know that we do have that bounce there. The shot here is for Brian. Brian, that's for you, man. I knew it. Plus, I already Yeah, so that ball, um, yeah, I definitely feel like I have a lot of room. I feel like I have room in, into the soup because of the surface. And because they are pearls and, and hybrids that are designed to be a little bit quicker, I have room to the right as well. <clears throat> so this is going to be the DNA coil. We're still pretty far left here. Oh, missed in. Oh, that probably should have been a big four. Let's throw a better shot than that. So same spot. I've told you guys this before. Uh, I don't like making a move on a bad shot. It's lucky that it struck. So we're just going to go back to that same spot, make a better shot, and then decide if we have to move or not. Oh, that 10 pin kind of hurts. That might have been a little fast. Definitely hurts. I think between these two balls, I was bowling for score. I think I'm leaning more towards the road. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, so coming up that 10 pin, I'm actually gonna move like five boards left and like get really soft. This, uh, this coil, I really like it. When I get a little bit softer through the fronts, kind of float it over to the friction. So like I said, this is gonna be like four or five left, but at a slower tempo. Oh, there we go hit that seven pin i was a little faster than i wanted but it still got the job done again if i was bowling for score i'd be in that in the road for sure so we're gonna ball change to that one throw a couple more shots and then wrap up this video all right back in the road now which again i think is the one that will allow me to score the best if i was bowling for score cheat code absolute cheat code Guys, I cannot stress this enough. If you don't like your polish balls right out of the box, hit them with a little bit of surface. Hey, listen, I'm not saying hit it with a 500 pad and make it hook at your toes, but even just, you know, hit it with a 2000 over the top of that polish and then smoothen it out with like a three or 4000 and it's gonna be an absolute home run for you guys, I promise. All right, this is gonna be the last shot of the video. We're gonna end it on an absolute banger here with the road. Hopefully you guys can understand what I'm talking about here. See, guys, I'm telling you, try it out for yourself. And I'm not saying do it to all your shiny bowling balls. But, you know, pick one or two. If you don't love them, hit them with a little bit of surface, and you're going to see that they're going to start to roll like this. You're still going to have that bounce to the right because the, it is still a, a ball that's designed to be like the road, for example. It's still designed to get down lane in shape. So when you hit it with a little bit of surface, it's still going to want to do that just a little bit earlier, a little bit smoother. It's going to be able to handle the volume in the middle, still going to bounce to the right, cheat code unlocked, whatever you want to call it. We'll see you guys on the next one.